Hup dog. Hup dog. Hey, it's fall at Cletusville. <laughs> I'm gonna do some cooking today. I'm gonna cook some Boston butts on the big green egg. And um, that's probably all. It's gonna be fun. Hang out and I'm gonna show you how we do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so, I, so I got some uh, pork butts at Kroger and, uh, and I stole these things. Now, you may not like to do this, but sometimes I get a bargain. Let me show you what I did. I got that one there for less than $10 and that one there was less than $10 and that one there was less than $8. So I got three of these things, and I'm gonna um, gonna make some injection sauce with some butter, and well, I got apple juice, and I got Cajun seasoning, and Worcestershire, and honey, and molasses, brown sugar. This is some of the ingredients that I use to put in my. I'm gonna put some of that in that pan and put it on the stove. And, and I'll make some really uh, good injection sauce. So uh, hang in there and uh, it's gonna be fun. Butts. See that big piece of meat? That's a nice, pretty chunk of meat I got from Kroger this morning. I got three of them. I got a markdown price. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, anyway, I got, the, I got the green egg fired up out there. So what I'm going to do is, I've already injected this thing with a concoction that I made and I used my, uh, the BDI injector. Look at this thing. You drop this into a, drop this into your injection juice and you just start pumping. And it pumps about an ounce every time you squeeze that trigger. I've got about two quarts injected into these three butts. So that's a lot. More than I usually would because I'm over here fumbling around with a little needle and I'm anyway that makes it easy so if you like to inject check that thing out Malcolm Reed sells them all right so the next thing we're going to do here I'm going to put some of this uh, I just made up uh, salt pepper and garlic that's all this is and uh, I, I usually put that on all my pork before I put the butt rub on it so I just kind of, I've already injected it, so it's really wet. Uh, some of it's oozing out. So this is just, it's just ground coarse black pepper and granulated garlic and uh, kosher salt. That's all it is. And now, we got to get the rub on there. This rub is... This is the candy that I talk about that tastes like candy. This stuff is really, really good. And it'll turn, after it's been on the meat for about a half hour, it'll turn into juice. It'll turn into this just sticky juice. It'll draw the moisture right out of the meat. And uh, it just turns into this wonderful, wonderful taste. Same stuff that, uh, that I put on my dry Memphis ribs. This is the Killer Hogs. But rub, I get it from Malcolm Reed in Memphis. Best stuff I found. Buy it by the five pound bag. It's the way to go. Anyway, I want you to see that, see how that works. So we'll be putting these on the grill in a few minutes as soon as the temperature gets right. All right, so I got the temperature right and I got the butts on the grill. There's three of them on there. And I'm just gonna close it down. Let them guys cook. Mm. Oh man, those are looking good. Whew. I love pig meat on the grill. Mm -mm -mm. There's an old saying, if you're looking, you're not cooking. Every time I open that lid, it lets heat out and uh, I lose cooking time. So I only check it every two or three hours. Be back out later.